So I want to talk to you about the Gyration Air Mouse. It's more than a mouse. So like most mice, you can use it on a desktop, which allows you to point. One of the things that's unique about it is it has the 10, uh, 100 foot range, which allows you to use it from anywhere in the room. In addition, there's a trigger on the bottom, which when you pull it, activates a gyro. So you can now start pointing while using the mouse in the air. It allows you to do all the things that any mice would do while walking through the room. In addition, it allows you to get more from the devices you already have. So let's say, for example, your classroom already had a touch display or an interactive whiteboard. So in addition to the mouse, you can now trigger visual effects using the mouse. So like, for example, we have a pin you can do. So you can go ahead and use that here, or you can actually walk up and use the same tool using the touch board. Or, for example, let's say you have um, test questions. You could say, okay, here's question number one, here's the answer. Here's question number two, here's the answer. Or you can do the same thing using the mouse. It's question number three, here's the answer. It allows you to use all of those things. In addition, with more and more of the screens going to LCD and things other than projectors, having the ability to have a laser pointer that works from across the room really helps. So in this particular case, we're using the stamp tool. So we can say, we've talked about this. This is a really good thing to have. This one we're not going to talk about. Each of these things can be triggered here. In addition, you can also do the same thing using the interactive whiteboard. Full control can actually be done by using not just the three programmable buttons that we have here, but also through gestures. So for example, I'm going to do the right swipe. And when I do that, it brings up this little box so I can highlight individual items, make it easier for people to see. You can also do them using your finger on the display. On-screen keyboard. As you start using a mouse, you find that you don't use the keyboard quite as much, but let's say you wanted to do a search in Google. You can go ahead, and in this particular case, I'll do a downward swipe, and it will bring up an on-screen keyboard. So now I can put in my search term either using this or by the same token using the mouse. Thank you.